Hello all my kings and queens, <laughs> this is King Solomon here and uh, welcome back to another video today with um, Modern Warfare 2019. Um, as you can see, I'm going to be using the PKM um, on for Ground War on Verdunsk, um, Verdunsk Riverside, which is like a hit or miss map for me. Sometimes it depends on how well my team is and th this team I had actually did pretty well um, spoiler alert <laughs> so um, the attachments out I'll, I'll be using for this will be um, the snatch grip the 25.9 extended barrel the 150 round magazine as well as stippled grip and the forge tack ultralight I think that's what the uh, stock is and uh, my perks are EOD, Hardline, and Battle Hardened. And um, for, for like a long range ground war build, this is kind of perfect. And uh, I'll explain why. <laughs> so um, as, you see, as you can see, I'm just uh, running around um, trying to set ourselves up for uh, the game we have here. And I level up to level 37 it looks like. Um, so yeah, I'm just uh, moving up, uh, moving up with it, trying to get into a prepared position, which uh, I'm not fully sure um, if we if we uh, get it in this one. Um, I think like when we capture Charlie, which it looks like we are, um, I'll be able to like try to defend it. Then the rest will be up to the team. I let them capture whatever's um, above us and here I just I don't know what I was doing I was just standing around while the um, while the, um, the equipment was killing me I don't know a little done it was kind of a it was kind of a terrible awareness lack of awareness as you will to get mowed down by the FAL that um, it actually kills you over time if you don't move <laughs> oh well but anyway, um, back to the attack. Um, I don't know what that screaming is. Sorry about that. But anyway, um, so probably the first and most important um, attachment, in my opinion. Um, well, there's two most important ones, but I'm going to start off with the one that I believe you unlock before the other. Um, that will be the um, extended barrel. So the 25.9 extended barrel on this gun, um, what it does, um, it increases your damage range or your effective range. S so for like a medium to long range weapon like this, you're going to want that because um, it helps you um, deal that three hit kill damage to the chest a lot more easier or at least a lot more frequent. Um, this weapon does have a pretty good range by default, but um, this will increase it by, I believe, 25% or 20%, somewhere like there. So, something like that. Um, it also reduces your recoil control, reduces your recoil, so um, it helps you be more accurate at the, tip, the typical comfortable range for this LMG, which for me was probably a necessity with what I was trying to build with it. Ground War is more built for mid to long range fights. Um, so anything to increase that range and uh, reduce that recoil is virtually a must for this weapon. It basically makes this thing a great, great weapon to use. Um, I did enjoy playing with it though. Um, some of you are wondering if that's the case, then why not put a sight on it then? <laughs> well, see, see, oof, I almost died right there. But um, the reason I d I don't have a sight on is because the irons to me are clear enough to where I feel like I can aim, and I think you'll see like in this gameplay I do tend to aim at a longer range and I still think the irons are clean enough to where I can at the very least tackle those ranges. Um, just Or maybe because just something about Russian weapons in particular 
makes me feel like a sight is never needed. It's kind of like I'm stuck on that AK, um, the uh, AK feel from COD 4, where putting on a putting on a red dot just reduces the damage you do or damage range or something. It 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 has a negative effect despite having a clear sight picture. But um. I think ever since then, Russian weapons with iron sights to me just don't feel right. Uh, maybe that'll change with a, uh, per se, Battlefield 4, maybe Battlefield Hardline, I don't know. But um, as far as Call of Duty is concerned, I would almost never put a sight on on a on a Russian weapon unless it's the um, SVD Juggernaut. <laughs> but um. Look at that long shot. See, you don't need a. I don't need a sight. The, the irons are good for me. As you can see, this is the perfect example. I'm getting like really, really, really good kills from a longer range with this weapon. So for me, a sight is not needed. See that? It it works just fine. <laughs> Oof! Almost died by that close. But um. This weapon's fire rate, which is 759 rounds per minute, which it, it's good enough, just like how you saw for close range, it um, does its job well. Um, or at least it does it well enough to where if you just stay on target, you'll be able to get that three hit kill, and you'll be able to um, fend off the um, attacker coming right at you. But, um, but yeah, sight for me is not needed. Um, these are probably the cleanest irons I can find on any LMG in really any Call of Duty by the uh, RPD perhaps from the Modern Warfares. Uh, but true, but um, honestly, I really, really love these sights. Something like that, that front post notch is really, really clear to me. Um, I feel like I can aim at a longer range with it. It, it feels very precise, so I don't need a sight for it. But anyway, I'm feeding a dead horse, so let's move on. Um, probably the um, other attachment that I would have, um, to me is like the most important, or at least the top two, is the snatch grip. The snatch grip does two things. Um, one, it does reduce recoil, which for a grip it's better like I I can't figure out why it wouldn't like why why would it not like a grip that doesn't reduce recoil like that's just silly but anyway um we're probably like the, but probably like the second benefit is what really really sets this gun apart or just attach it apart and I just got mowed down by ghosts <laughs> but um it, the second benefit, um, it literally fucking re reduces the aim down sight time. I don't know how how much, but I do know that it it does reduce aim down sight speed, which is really really good. I actually felt a difference when I when I use this, um, and the reason why that's important is because it's an LMG. It's gonna be slow, so anything to like you know make it make make your aiming faster, make it snappier, especially when you're trying to be on the move and repositioning. Um, to me, that's pretty essential. Like, to me, there's no negative effect trying to reduce the aim down sight time, especially if you have attachments that are built for long range will actually do such such thing. It, um, it helps counter it a little more, and I'm not gonna lie, I really, like, I really love the benefits of this grip, like, a lot. But uh, those two, but yeah, that, the snatch grip and the um, extended barrel are probably the two most important. Um, something that's a little less important, but I do feel like was necessity was the 150 round drum. Yes, or not drum, but box magazine. Yes, you can use 100 rounds. Normally 100 rounds is more than enough. But I do, but the reload is quite lengthy. And if you're going to go sustain fire with this weapon, which I normally do, um, 150 rounds um, actually sounds pretty good, and that was probably the one time my sights actually failed. He was looks like he was using thermal, so that kind of made more sense. Um, but as far as um, 
the 150 round, um, to me, it's the more balanced set, because the 200, the 200 would just slow you down just way too much. Um, the aim down sight time and the movement speed are two oh, bigger penalties that I do not personally admire. Like, it's like, the, the movement speed is like down to like MG34 range, which to me is already dreading enough for an LMP for any Call of Duty, so why would I do that? Why? <laughs> if I can have 50 rounds less for probably the, um, for slightly better benefits compared to the 200, I'll take it. 100 rounds is definitely more than enough. 200 to me can either be two things. It can either be beneficial for sustained fire or completely overkill. Um, so 150 to me is definitely more than enough for sustained fire. But truth be told, um, it's largely because the 200 one, the 200 rounds are just the penalty is just too great. You see, I'm just trying to engage this guy at longer range. I can see him, but he's not, he's not coming out the uh, the corner. And finally, um, the other two attachments. Um, the first one is the, um, or not the first one, but the, the next one that I normally would use and would not really replace for anything else, especially a sight, is the Forge Tack Ultralight. This thing, uh, what it does, it helps my aim walking movement speed. And this is really good for keeping me aimed down sights because aiming down sights, it's slow, it's slow moving, it's treacherous, it's dreading to like at the very least um, aim with this LMG. It's so slow. So to anything to like help the movement speed of the of this is really really beneficial. I really really like the benefit it brings, and it keeps me aimed down sights better. Because I mean, how could I not? It's <laughs> It, it really does um, keep me with my sights up and my gun ready, which is kind of the point. Um, it, it very least um, helps me stay that way, add, adding more benefit. It also helps strafing um, around corners when aiming down sights, which to me are very beneficial because you want to keep your sights up, your gun ready with this kind of weapon because this one's more defensive than it is offensive. So... That's the reason why I have the the echo. ultralight um, stock helps me out with the uh, movement We're speed when tight. aiming down sights, which to me is a great benefit. The uh, as I get mowed down right there, the uh, final attachment that I have is the stippled grip tape. This um, helps with aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. This is just to help make it faster, make it snappier for those unexpected close quarters. Um, granted, you shouldn't be using close quarters with this weapon anyway, but there are a few times when you just don't have a choice, and this just helps alleviate that when it does happen. It tries to help with the penalty of being an LMG. Normally, you can shake this out with the sight, but for me, this is the better benefit to help out with the less overall downtime. So that's the end of the video, went 19 and 7 in this, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button down below, don't forget to comment, share and subscribe for more content like this, and until next time, farewell.